friends, how do I move from 90 percentile to 95 percentile? That's what we are going to discuss about. Dosto, it is quite possible for all of us to improve from 90 percentile to 95 percentile. हम 90 से 95 आसानी से जा सकते हैं, provided हमने काफी दिनों से मेहनत की हो. ठीक है. Although it is very challenging. ठीक है. However, I believe you have sufficient time to improve. Okay. Given that you have already put in requisite efforts. ठीक है. Remember, it is very important to note that this exam, that is your CAT exam, is all about exam of accuracy. If you want to score 95 plus percentile, you have to maintain good accuracy. Achieving a score of some around 80 fly plus would be usually putting you into this range of you can say 95 percentile. So, try to score somewhere around you can say 30 plus in each of the other each of the section that's very important let's start with individual section we I'll, I'll talk about vrc first and then i'll move towards you can say your quant and dilr vrc this is very important segment in your cat if you want to get 95 percentile it is considered to be one of the toughest area for many of the engineering students it may be very difficult for a lot of students, especially in terms of understanding the passages. And it's not about understanding passages which is difficult, but even putting answers, identifying answers will be very difficult. So most of the students, what do they do? They simply shun the idea of dealing with this tough section. They simply, you can say, assume that on the D-Day, on the D-Day, they will get something out of it. Dosto, ye samajna baut zaruri hai that this exam is all about getting a good score with accuracy and in VARC, sabse matwa poon part hai aapka RC. RC make a significant chunk of this section. So, if you try to correctly answer at least three RCs, I believe you are reaching to your goal of 95 percentile. To improve your accuracy in the RC, I would encourage you to analyze articles on a daily basis, passages, what you read on a daily basis, try to analyze them and uh, you can say actively. Okay, write down all the points mentioned by the author. Number one, look at his tone. Look at the main idea of each paragraph. Try to connect all this information and try to understand what is the central idea of the author. What is the purpose of the author? What is the idea of the author which the, you can see in this paragraph it is provided. Possibly you may require to reread the passage to check whether you have understood all possible information in the right way or not. By doing this on a regular basis and by reading diverse articles on a daily basis, I am sure you will improve your comprehension skill. My dear students, dedicate at least one or two hour reading various things. This is very important. Many of us are not doing it. Dosto, by spending an hour or so on reading capability, it improves your accuracy not in RC, not just in RC, but even in your paragraph summary. Remember, it is imperative that you do not miss out of any theta type questions in your actual exam, even in your mock. There are no negative marking. There are no negative marking and thereby you must attempt it. You attempt it on a regular basis and practice a lot. If you do all these activities on a daily basis, I believe getting 15 to 17 questions right in VARC is not at all challenging. A significant portion of your overall score will come from VARC and the significant portion of VARC preparation will, will involve your reading and practicing RC questions on a daily basis. This is a daily activity. If you are able to do all this activity on a daily basis, I am sure there are no trouble to that. 
Okay, now I'll come to QA sections, quantitative aptitude. This section focuses more on three major topics. One, arithmetic. Second, algebra. Third, geometry. Focus on this three area. There will be usually some around 15 to 18 questions will be from this area. There will be 15 to 18 questions coming from this area. So you can drastically improve your score if you focus well on this three area. My dear students, even in yesterday's video, I discussed about this factor. That is, how, I, how do I move from 80 to 90 percentile? These three topics are important. Having a firm grasp on varieties of the formula in this area will definitely improve my accuracy. It will save, you can say, lot of my time in the actual examination. I will be in a position to utilize lot of, you can say, uh, time on the right questions. Many of us are really fearful about geometry. But if you identify a relevant formula, identify relevant approaches needed to crack geometry, I believe you can solve any kind of geometry questions because geometry has a very limited scope in terms of the type of formula and the questions. You will be in a position to do those questions quickly and with less amount of time and that too with high accuracy. If you think you are weak in quantitative aptitude, I believe you can say don't go deep into various topics like number systems, permutation combinations because you can say this area will consume lot of time. It requires lot of preparation primarily to get lot of good accuracy. You need to solve varieties of the questions on it. Only then you will be in a position to handle some questions out of it. So, if you are not good at your QA, don't focus on number system and permutation combination. Okay? Coming to your LRDI section. Remember, the level of difficulty in this section is increasing every year in a substantial manner in last so many years. Dosto, this LRDI section is predominantly coming up with an unconventional set of questions. My dear students, there are no standard set of questions coming up in LRDI. There are some questions coming from DI. There are some questions coming from LR. But there is a very thin line between DI and LR. And now they are clubbing all of them. Therefore, our focus must be on developing the requisite thought process. My dear students, LRDI requires right amount of thought process. Any kind of unconventional questions are available. If you have a right mindset, you will be in a position to crack that. It is needless to say that having a thorough understanding of certain varieties of the topics which are coming very regularly in the examination will definitely give us a lot of confidence. Yes or no? It is not a wastage of time. So do that. There is no trouble to that. But at the same time, it is very important that you understand that fundamentals of, you can say, LRDI is all about developing varieties of the, you can say, scenarios. Once you practice all those fundamental questions which are commonly occurring in the examination and you complement it with regular practice of unconventional puzzles, I'm sure you are going to grow at a very higher rate. Though number of sets required to attempt a to get 95 percentile okay, varies depending upon the paper's difficulty level. However, try to attempt at least three sets correctly out of four sets. Either it is 664 or 644 that is very important. Check if you can partially attempt the remaining set that is also very important. Don't stop. 
don't stop after completion of the particular set even if you are able to do a set partially that is okay remember your learning to represent given or information in a proper manner is a very important key try to avoid committing silly mistakes while representing the information even a small mistake in your notation okay when you are noting some information from some data even a small information theek hai if you put in a wrong way believe me it will it is going to ruin your whole set remember you have to be very accurate on a daily basis i suggest solve lot of puzzles whether it is sudoku or whether it is puzzles coming from your theory books make sure that you enter into the right thought process so my dear students it is very easy for you to move from 90 to 95 percentile as you move very closer to your examination as we are moving towards appear for more and more mock test more and more mock test appearance is good analyzing them is important theek hai when you analyzing them you analyze them take you can say thorough detail about your working identify how are you thinking about it identify your shortcomings and make sure that you ensure great score in your mocks i hope this kind of methods are going to be very useful all the best to you to get 90 to 95 percentile it is really possible for you to achieve your target with each passing mock with each passing day you can very well do that all the best